Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voice over and the Euro watching drive your machines. Today we've gathered many people and machines to arrange an exciting battle and find out what ATV is the most capable. By the way, we've got the first snow today and we prepared a very interesting route for this material. There will be many various exciting obstacles. The final point of today's trip is the severest and gloomy swamp. It's definitely dangerous to go there by only one ATV. That is why we've gathered three machines to overcome that swamp. Well, get comfortable, my friends, and take some tea. It's time to begin. Let's go! First of all, I would like to introduce to you all the people and machines who are going to take part in the competition today. Meet Evgeny and the ATV Dobrynya Bulat. You might already know it. Ilya and his new ATV Taiga 4x4. Kirill and his ATV Ergo Avenger 800. And our guide for today, Sergei. He will show us the most interesting obstacles. Well, and me finally. Hi there. In fact, many more people will help us today in our shootings. And I'd like to thank all of them. Huge thanks for coming today, guys. Before starting our trip, let's have a closer look at the machines. Dobrynya ATV. You might know this machine, the other day we made a video about it. It's tracked ATV, 700 kW weight, with 2 cylinders engine, 24 HP. There is an anti roll cage and a tent. Taiga 4x4 ATV. The machine has an articulated frame and big low pressure wheels. The weight is 450 kW. There is also an anti roll cage. The engine is more powerful, 2 cylinders, 29 HP. Ergo Avenger 800. It's a Canadian 8 wheels ATV, which is equipped with additional tracks. The weight is about 600 kilos. The body is made of a plastic. The engine is 2 cylinders curler, 30 HP power. Also, we tried to find out what is under the hood of this quad, but we didn't manage to open the hood. Well, let it be so. It's high time to hit the road. Well, as I said, we are facing the most exciting route today. There will be various obstacles that will help us to show up the difference between the machines. The ground is already frozen on the field, but it's still swampy in the forest. And the main our goal today is a big swamp. It never gets frozen in any season. While we are moving on a flat ground, let's make some kind of a drag racing to find out what machine is the fastest today. Well, the maximum speed is approximately the same. The first is Ergo, then Taiga and Dambrinia. But the difference is not so significant. Now let's do some hill climbing. The first ascent is the simplest. Let's do this. It's a piece of cake for all the machines, so we made this test a little bit harder. This hill is more difficult. But again, no any problems at all for all the ATVs. And this is the steepest ascent. I think it's almost impossible to get over it. Yep, it's too much for the machines. But if we slightly change our way, the task becomes much easier. Let's try this. And the Ergo is just few centimeters short to get over this hill. And the Brunia is trying. Okay. 
However, it was a tough task. But Dabrina managed to climb on this hill, showing us advantage of the metal lugs on the tracks. As to the Taiga ATV, it couldn't even try to move here, cause there were many such thorns that could puncture the tires. Meantime, Ergo shows us a really extreme descent. And it was frightening even just to watch it, I should say. To our trip to the Grand Swamp, we have to cross this small but deep river. Frankly speaking, we even didn't consider this river as a serious obstacle, but in fact it proved to be even harder than just a serious. The matter is, it's very deep, and there are steep banks, so it was quite a tough task to get out from there. As we can see, all the machines can float, but none of them is able to get out on the bank. Even Dabrina with its metal legs can't get over this obstacle. After about half an hour of numerous tries to escape from this trap, we started realizing that we were just losing our time. Thanks, there was a quad with a winch that helped the ATVs to escape from the river. Well, all the machines are on the ground again, but the matter is, we didn't manage to cross the river. It seems that we have to find any port to proceed our trip to the swamp, so let's go and find it. While we are moving, let's speak in a word about the transmissions in the vehicles. Dobrini is equipped with both gearbox and CVT. The gearbox provides a wider range of gears, from the lowest to the fastest. In this way it has a very slow low range, but the maximum speed is pretty decent. There is the same construction in the Taiga ATV, so it's also usable in the Wilt ATV. As to Ergo, it uses its own transmission called Admiral. It's equipped with a special gearbox, there are low and high ranges, and as we can see, it works quite effective. Meantime, we finally found the fort. We managed to cross the river here without any difficulties, and then we were able to keep on moving to the swamp. But then we faced another interesting obstacle. There is a huge deep ditch, and certainly we decided to overcome it. Hi guys, train. slow and neatly, but it crosses the ditch. And now I will show you the wrong way of doing it. If you decide to cross it with a speed, you will get such a result. We broke a steering link in this episode. And while the crew of this machine is trying to fix it, the other tracked ATVs also overcome this ditch without any difficulties. Slow but sure.
Well, Taiga is ready to get back to our tests again. But firstly, let's check the tire pressure. By the way, it's interesting solution to inflate the tires by the exhaust. It's very quick way to puff up the wheels. And now let's move on. Here it is, we finally got it. The Grand Swamp. I think it's an ideal scenery for a horror film, isn't it? But we are going to cross this swamp, and I hope it will be not a horror. Let's go! Frankly speaking, I'm sure it won't be a horror, cause we are moving here by three machines at one time. And if something goes wrong, there will be other machines to help. The main rule here is not even trying to overcome such a swamp alone without any assist. When we are moving across the swamp, it seems like it's alive. Look how it breathes under our wheels. The main task here is not to tear this carpet and not to fall through it. That is why weight and pressure on the ground is very important here. And I should say, Ergo definitely looks better than others here. It weighs 600 kilos, but it has a long and wide tracks, so the pressure on the ground is minimal. As a result, Ergo literally flies about the swamp. Nevertheless, Dobrynia and Taiga also move here quite confidently, but much slower. Dobrynia weighs 100 kilos more than Ergo, and its tracks are shorter, so it's more difficult for it to move on the swamp. Taiga doesn't have tracks at all, but its wheels are quite large and low pressure, so it's able to overcome this swamp, but with approximately the same performance as Dobrynia. At this moment, Dobrynia gets into a hole. There is no carpet here, and the machine just floats and can't move further. But Ergo is near, and it rescues Dobrynia from a trap with the help of the winch. And now the same thing with Taiga. And again, Ergo helps to get out from the hole. Well, riding across the swamp, it's quite an emotional process. But we should discuss a practical thing, let's speak about the prices now. The cheapest ATV is Taiga, its price is $4,000. Dobrynia costs about $5,000. And Ergo costs about $25,000. Well, let's go today, guys! Thanks for having a trip with us today! Please post your comments, which of the ATVs you liked most of all. And consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us, it will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye!